want to say all praise to the Most High Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shah. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. No respect to the brothers teaching the truth all over the earth. This lesson is going to be entitled, White People Are Realizing They Are Edomites. You know, so-called white man Esau, who we know is Esau, according to the Holy Bible, is realizing he is the Edomites. You know, through the truth being taught by brothers, you know, that's the main way they know that they're e Esau. That's the reason why you got Vocab Malone with his big campaign and these Edomites coming on the comment boards is because they realize that they are the Edomites. And their kingdom is going down. You see them in the background here taking, you know, pictures and enjoying their kingdom. And you might as well enjoy the last few minutes of your kingdom, Esau, you know. And we waiting now for the Savior to come. And you can see Edomites everywhere, as you might imagine, you know. Now, <clears throat> particularly when I see, like, what's going on with Vocab Malone and the Edomites, that whole thing is orchestrated and set up because they do... The elites and the powers that be, they see the truth, the way it's growing, and they can't stop it. They can't stop it. That's why you got this big wildebeest, goes by the name of Cherry Love, saying all the same things that we've been hearing all these many years. That's nothing new. Saying that we talk, we don't like women, and that we teach to beat women, and we hate hate our own people, and that we rape children, and all these things. These are, these are not new allegations, you know. And certain things have been said in the heat of the spirit, but brothers don't teach. We don't actually go into the scriptures and tell brothers to beat their women, you know, which is it's just it's just ridiculous, man. But these these are the low level tactics that you have to employ. Why? Because you're defeated. You are a defeated people. The so called white people, Esau, white man and white people, the Edomites, you are defeated. There's nothing you have left. You know, the most high has dismantled everything spiritually in this place. And the only thing that's left is for the physical destruction to come. You know, it's the only thing that's left for the physical destruction to come. And 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 let me cite the scripture. The most high created you either by specifically for this very purpose to destroy you. You know? Proverbs 16 and 4 says, The, the uh, Lord have created all things for himself, yeah, even the wicked for the day of evil. And the scriptures prophesy, the Bible prophesies, that the, the troop was going to come out in the latter days, you know. That the Israelites were going to spring to life. That exceeding great army. And that's happening now. But in the process of that, what else does it happen? That the wicked will be revealed. And not only are you going to be revealed, you're going to accept it. You're accepting it now because you so-called white people have gone into the scriptures after us and you've read what we've been bringing out. And you cannot deny it. Stay tuned. We'll be right now, back. As I was saying, you so-called white people Edomites are realizing exactly who you are now. Everyone has to realize their biblical nationality and their heritage. Or they're going to. Don't quote me on that. I'm not saying that that's Bible prophecy that everyone will realize. But it's, it's going to come to pass that the whole world is going to realize and know what people they are. You so-called white people, you realize you're the Edomites because the brother's been bringing the truth out. And like I said, you're going into the scriptures now. You're reading after what we've been saying. You know, at first you laughed, you know, you laughed and you thought it was a big game and a joke. These niggers call themselves Israelites. And you went into the Bible and you checked behind everything we're saying for all these many years. The apostles, the elders, brothers been putting in work, doing the lessons, doing the shows. And you start reading the scriptures and you was getting cut through the spirit. Because what? Prophecy, history, and, and, and uh, the Bible itself condemn you people and you realize that we are in fact the children of Israel now you're scared and you realize you're the Edomites you're scared now you've been reading in the Bible you're like oh shit they are the Israelites you know as y'all say down here in the south you know but ain't nothing you can do about it it's too late it's too late that's why the most I held it back until the end you know that's why the most I held these secrets back until the end times he didn't let you know and let us know we was the Israelites during slavery because if he had done that you would have destroyed the Bible man and let's face it, now the time of the end. It's beautiful to see. We can't wait for your destruction. We cannot wait. Check this out. See it? Last minutes of Esau's kingdom.
So as we've been saying and me going into beautiful scenery, as you might imagine. And I love to get out here and film these lessons, man. But the Most High is about to bring a great destruction in this land called America, which we know to be Babylon the Great. You know, now I'm planning on trying to set up at some point out here and film a quick lesson. But if I don't get the opportunity, I have to come back another day. But as we've been going into the subject matter, you know, the Edomites, the so-called white man Esau. If you want to say Caucasians, white people. Some people say Europeans, but that's not their original nationality. It's not Europeans. So-called white people don't come from Europe. They come from the Caucasus Mountains. You know, they come from uh, Petra and um, up in the caves, man. You know, they come from Edom, Mount Seir. That's, that's their original uh, uh, place. That's where they come from. And you and you got down here in the south now, I notice you got a lot of Issachar down here too as well. Coming down here to the beach, to the coast or whatever. And you want to be Edomites. And a lot of you are. You keep People keep coming on the comment boards telling us that the so-called Mexicans are Edomites. No, not all the Mexicans are Edomites. Some of them are. Just like you got Negroes as Edomites because they was in captivity. Right? So it's only it only stands to dictate that, yeah, many of them are Edomites. But we ain't talking about them. We talking about the, the Mexicans, so-called Mexicans, that go back to our people. You see? It's very windy up here, so you brothers and sisters bear with me. You see? And so you so you talk about Issachar, then there it comes. Yeah, the more the closer I get to the water, the, the harder the wind blo is is blowing. But people like Vocab Malone, going back to the to the subject matter at hand, people like Vocab Malone. And, and Cherry Love, they want to stop what's being, they want to stop the brothers from teaching. Vocab Malone, you are defeated. Personally, I would like to say to you, you are defeated. We know your tricks, we know your tactics, you know, and we learn from seeing your actions just how desperate you really are. And that dude, G Con, he on a low level. Cherry Love, she's on a low level. You're on a low level. So real, G Man, your whole crew, you are all on a low level. We see exactly what you believe and how you roll. And the reason you're behaving in such a manner is because you're desperate, you're hurt, and you're an Edomite. And you so-called white people in general, you realize you are the Edomites. That's why you try to try to demonize us. Because that's all you can do. You know? If you can't whoop a guy's ass, you're going to try to find a way to get him locked up. And spiritually, you getting your asses whipped. And everywhere I go, I see you red devils. And you know, we despise you. Just like you despise us. You brought us over here in slavery and captivity. And you despised us, and we despise you the same in, in return. Because why? We're mortal enemies. You know, the scriptures say Jacob and Esau will be two manner of people. And one people say will be stronger than the other. That's why we struggle together against each other in the womb. We're not made to get along. But now you also have wicked Israelites that have not been woken to the truth. They don't realize that the so-called white man is Esau. Or they may realize it, you know. But they haven't been walking to their heritage. Why? Because only the elect is going to receive this. We ain't, we, we ain't looking for all Israel. So the little games that Vocab Malone is playing, you know, the little games that the so-called white man Esau has employed by setting up certain individuals to try to give the truth a bad name, it's not, it doesn't matter. It doesn't make a difference because at the end of the day, the truth is alive. The truth is a living, breathing thing. Okay? Truth is not dead. It's a living, breathing thing. There's nothing you can do to stop it. It's a whole complete another entity of itself. Why? Because the Holy Spirit is involved. And it's moving throughout the earth. And it's, and it's, it's waking up the men whom the Most High wants, wants it to wake up. It's taking out the elect from among the nations. As it says in Amos 9 and verse 10. You know? I think it's uh, verse 10. Most High uh sifting the house of Israel among all nations. That, like it's corn is sifted in the sea. Yet shall not the least grain fall upon the earth. You see? That's just what it is, man. So the elect is, you know, they're being raised up. Pursuing the Ezekiel 37. And so many people want to come against the 12 tribe sign now. But it doesn't make a difference. All of these, these things are happening because why? The so-called white man is realizing he's the Edomites. You know? And you can see it now over here getting dark. Look at it. The so-called white man is realizing he's the Edomites. He's Esau. And there's nothing he can do to stop that. There's nothing he can do. And the people of the earth, their eyes are being opened. The Israelites are waking up all over the earth. And once that truth gets in them, you can't stop them. As it says in Ezekiel 37, again, 
around starting around about verse 16 maybe be a little before that you know and they stood upon their upon their feet an exceeding great army that exceeding great army is, is awakening man and you can't turn it back you know now as you can see in here I'm sure an incredible storm is coming it's coming right this way now this storm I'm speaking of right now is this literal storm right here before us as you can see in the skies but it's another spiritual storm that's coming your way so called white man Esau the Edomites Vocab Malone is small James White is small Cherry Love is small G-Con is small G-Man and all the rest of these flunkies you are lightweights what the Most High is doing He's coming to your congregations and he's taking out from among you all the elect. It's your so-called white people. Your kingdom is, is finished. Everything you hold dear is about to be destroyed. Even all this beauty, as I always say, Most High is going to do away with all this. And then we're going to start over again fresh and anew. You know, we look for a new heavens and a new earth. Wherein dwelleth righteousness. Because this place is wickedness, man. There's nothing but wickedness here in America, Babylon the Great. You know? Even the things that you should be able to enjoy is all defiled. Why? Because if you catch fish from out of here, more than likely, you know, it probably make you sick. It's well documented all the plastic and the poison uh, in the uh, oceans. You know, you so-called white people, man, you going down. It's a beautiful feeling. The very people that had us in slavery, our ancestors, their ancestors are going into slavery. Poetic justice by the Most High. And you read, you read, devils can't get out of it, man. You are red. Okay, the furs came out red all over like a hairy garment, and they called his name Esau. It's obvious. It's in the scriptures. It's plain as day. You know, and you can't get out of it. I keep saying you can't get out of it because that's what you want. That's why you so desperate. That's why I entitled the video. The white man is realizing they're Edomites. Because that's the reason why that you're employing all these tactics. You so damn nervous when you see us on the on the streets, but yet you can't do anything when the cops see us. Out there on the strip teaching the word, they be getting nervous. You know, you can tell they want to come over there and bother us, but a lot of the cops are Jake's, and Jake just wave. You know, but the Edomite cops, they look like they want to want to stop us and, and molest us and bother us and ask us questions. But what's the point? The most I put the spirit on these devils, and they just say, oh, they're just guys teaching the Bible. They're harmless. Yeah, we are harmless, but the truth is, is, is dangerous. This truth is dangerous. There's nothing you can do. You can't you can't stop us from teaching it. You can't escape from it. You can't get around it. Like what's that Michael Jackson song say? It's too high to get over, too low to get under. This, this is the truth. The truth of the Holy Bible. You know? And the more we continue to bring out the truth, the more this place is going to fall in the shambles, man. You know? And so much I want to say, so many things I want to bring out, but, you know, the Spirit just have me, allow me to bring out what I'm bringing out. So, just wanted to, you know, say a few words. On these so-called white people, Edomites, your, your, your destruction is coming. America, Babylon the Great is finished, pretty much. The only thing we're waiting on now is for the physical destruction to come to this place. World War III to break out. And the Most High is, 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 is so tactical and strategic. He's going to take your children from you. He's going to send them off to World War III to fight. You're going to have to watch them go off and fight knowing that the destruction is, is ahead. You know, he's going to bring martial law, famine, plagues, tribulation, all types of things. Why? Because... You are Babylon the Great. And Esau rules the daughter of Babylon. And in their possession they have who? The children of Israel. Zechariah 2 verse 6. Ho, flee ye from the land of the north. You know. For I have scattered you abroad. Deliver thyself, O Zion, that dwellest with the daughter of Babylon. Psalms 137 says, Esau, Edom, you know, who ought to be destroyed. Or, or happy art thou, O Babylon, who ought to be destroyed. No, and it, and it calls you further than that the daughter of Edom the daughter of Edom is in possession and rulership of Babylon the Great Isaiah 47 tells us that the Most High was wroth with his people therefore he has given them into thine hand and you've realized it and you've been told and you heard about this truth somewhere that's why you're on this video pressing thumbs down like the damn devils you are but it's too damn late the so called white man has realized he's Esau and the Edomites and he's powerless. All praise to the Most High, Yahweh, Ba, Shem, Yahweh, Shai. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. No respect to the brothers teaching the truth all over the earth. See you soon with another lesson. Lord willing. The so called white people, Edomites, your day is coming. 
Psalms 137 verse 7 Remember O Lord the children of Edom in the day of Jerusalem who said raise it raise it even to the foundation thereof O daughter of Babylon who art to be destroyed happy shall he be that rewarded thee as thou hast served us happy shall he be that taketh and dasheth thy little ones against the stones and this is going to be the second part to the lesson all praise to the most high you know Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai the God of Abraham Isaac and Jacob now we're going to do like I said this is the second part to the lesson that you just saw you know these so called white people are realizing that they are the Edomites now you're going to have many people that try to get them off the hook and try to say that they're Japhet or try to say that the Edomites or the Arabs or whatever different things they come up with you know they try to go into the scriptures now and try to prove that Jacob was white all these different things or Esau was black or whatever you try to come up with end time prophecy proves without a doubt who Esau is who are the Edomites so let's read it again Psalms 137 verse 7 remember O Lord the children of Edom the subject here is the children of Edom who said in the day of Jerusalem raise it raise it even to the foundation thereof O daughter of Babylon who art to be destroyed happy shall he be that rewarded thee as thou hast served us so the people of Israel are going to be happy when the most high rewards the Edomites as they have served us and it tells you their destination or their designation or matching them up with the daughter of Babylon the Edomites happy shall he be that taketh and dasheth thy little ones against the stones okay now we're gonna go real quick and let's look at so the key here is the children of Edom the Edomites and the daughter of Babylon being linked together this is Zechariah 2 verse 6 and it reads ho ho come forth and flee from the land of the north saith the Lord for I have spread your abroad as the four winds of the heaven saith the Lord you see the land of the north being North America deliver thyself O Zion the children of Israel that dwellest with the daughter of Babylon so this scripture is telling you that the children of Israel dwell with the daughter of Babylon and we just read before that that it uh, the children of Edom you know they are synonymous with the daughter of Babylon so the Israelites dwell in the daughter of Babylon correct deliver thyself O Zion that dwellest with the daughter of Babylon for thus saith the Lord of hosts after the glory hath he sent me unto the nations which spoiled you for he that toucheth you toucheth the apple of his eye going on real quick we ain't going to take a lot of time on this this is Micah 5, 4 verse 10 backing up what we just read be in pain and labor to bring forth O daughter of Zion those that are in likeness after the Israelites the daughter of Zion okay the children of Israel like a woman in travail for now shalt thou go forth out of the city what is the city Jerusalem and thou shalt dwell in the field what is the field when you read in Matthew chapter 13 it says the field is the world so the Israelites got scattered into the world and thou shalt go even to Babylon now they went to ancient Babylon right and then they got you know they left Babylon Babylon you know was, was um it went down right because you had four great kingdoms you had uh uh, you had Babylon the Persians and the Medes then you had Greece and then you the Greeks rather and then you had the Romans in the Roman Empire now you have the final leg of the Roman Empire the revised Roman Empire NATO the EU America Babylon the Great so Babylon went down a long time ago right and thou shalt go even to Babylon there shalt thou be delivered there the Lord shall redeem thee from the hand of thine enemies so the most High told Israelites in the curses no man shall buy you he said that in Deuteronomy 28 verse 68 meaning no man would redeem you so in the end times the Savior is going to come and redeem the house of Israel from the hand of their enemies this is how we know that this is not talking about ancient Babylon but a place in the future the daughter of Babylon you see there shalt thou be delivered there the Lord shall redeem thee from the hand of thine enemies you see and we're going to go a little further with that Isaiah 47 and verse 1 Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin, daughter of Babylon. Sit on the ground. There is no throne, O daughter of the Chaldeans, for thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. A designation of a new place called Babylon, not the ancient Babylon, but the daughter of Babylon. 
Take the millstones and grind mill. Uncover thy locks, make bare the leg. Uncover the thigh, pass over the rivers. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered, yea, thy shame shall be seen. I will take vengeance. I will not meet thee as a man. As for our Redeemer, the Lord of hosts is his name, the Holy One of Israel. Sit thou silent and get thee in the darkness, O daughter of the Chaldeans, for thou shalt no more be called the Lady of Kingdoms. Who's called the Lady of Kingdoms? America, Babylon the Great. Listen to what the Most High says. I was wroth with my people, the Israelites. I have polluted mine inheritance, the Israelites, and given them into thine hand. And who, to whose hand? The daughter of Babylon's hand. Thou didst show them no mercy. Upon the ancient hast thou very heavily laid thy yoke. Wait a minute. Deuteronomy 28 verse what? 48 says he shall put a yoke of iron upon thee until he have destroyed thee. Upon the ancient hast thou very heavily laid thy yoke. You see? So the Most High said he gave his people into the hand of the daughter of Babylon. And as we already read, the daughter of Babylon is synonymous with um, the children of Edom. Listen to this. Now let's link the, uh, uh, Babylon, the great, and Edom together. All right. This is Jeremiah 49. And I'll start at verse 16. You know what? Let's jump up to verse 7. It says, Concerning Edom. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, is wisdom no more in teeming? Is counsel perished from the prudent? Is their wisdom vanished? Now we're going to jump down, right? You see who it's talking about. It's talking about Esau. Verse 12. For thus saith the Lord, behold, they whose judgment was not to drink of the cup have assuredly drunken. And art thou he that shall altogether go unpunished? Thou shalt not go unpunished, but thou shalt surely drink of it, right? Esau, you're going to drink of that cup. And that's why, you know, I titled the lesson, these so-called white people, these Caucasians, are realizing that they are the Edomites. Why? Because this truth is being pushed hard. Most High has got the, the servants of the Lord, you know, the apostles, the elders, the brothers of Great Millstone, pushing this truth. And, and you people are being convinced and you realize you are the Edomites. You can't get around it. You can, you can set up these false teachers to try to say, oh, the Edomites are the Arabs or... The so-called white man is Japhet or that you're really actually uh, Jacob. No, you're not any of those things. You are the Edomites, the biblical Edomites. And end time prophecy proves it. And you are not going to go unpunished. Thou shalt not go unpunished, but thou shalt surely drink of it. You're going to drink from that cup. And Vocab Malone can't stop you from drinking from that cup. He's going to be punished as well. For I have sworn by myself, saith the Lord, that Basra shall become a desolation, a reproach. A waste and a curse, and all the cities thereof shall be perpetual waste. You see, I have heard a rumor from the Lord, and an ambassador is sent unto the heathen, saying, Gather you together and come against her, and rise up to the battle. For lo, I will make thee small among the heathen, and despised among men. Thy terribleness hath deceived thee, and the pride of thine heart, O thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rock, that holdest the height of the hill, though thou Shouldest make thy nest as high as the eagle, I will bring thee down from thence, saith the Lord. Also Edom shall be a desolation, and every one that goeth by it shall be astonished and hissed at all the plagues thereof. As in the overthrow of Sodom and Gomorrah and the neighbor's cities thereof, saith the Lord, no man shall abide there, neither shall a son of man dwell in it. Keep this verse in mind. The Most High says Edom is going to be destroyed the same way as Sodom and Gomorrah was destroyed. Let's go to Jeremiah 50 and 16 real quick. And this scripture is talking about what? It's talking about Babylon. But we're going to prove this is not ancient Babylon, but the new Babylon. Babylon the Great. Jeremiah 50 verse 23. How is the hammer of the whole earth cut asunder and broken? How has Babylon become a desolation among the nations? Now, ancient Babylon was not, uh, they didn't rule the whole earth, okay? I have laid a snare for thee, and thou art also taken. O Babylon, and thou wast not aware, thou art found and also caught, because thou hast striven against the Lord. The Lord hath opened his armory and hath brought forth the weapons of his indignation, for this is the work of the Lord God of hosts in the land of the Chaldeans. What is the weapons of the Most High's indignation? The nuclear missiles, the ICBMs. Let's jump down a bit. Um, yeah, you can go back and read this on your own. I want to just jump through. 
Verse 31, it says, Behold, I am against thee, O thou most proud, said the Lord God of hosts. For thy day is come, the time that I will visit thee. And the most proud shall stumble and fall, and none shall raise him up. And I will kindle a fire in his cities, and it shall devour him all round about. Or it shall devour all around about him. Here's a key verse. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the children of Israel and the children of Judah were oppressed together. And all that took them captives held them fast. They refused to let them go. Now, in ancient Babylon, the majority of the tribes that were there present in that captivity were Judah, Levi, and Benjamin. Judah, the southern kingdom. During that time, the ten tribes were in a different captivity. They weren't all together in Babylon. So we know it ain't talking about ancient Babylon. It's talking about a place in the future, Babylon the Great. You see? Here it says Judah, Judah and uh, Israel and Judah were oppressed together, both the northern and the southern kingdom. And if you go further, their redeemer is strong. The Lord of hosts is his name. He shall thoroughly plead their cause that he may give rest to the land and disquiet the inhabitants of Babylon. You see? And also, too, there was another point. Um, I forget what it was now, but it may come back. But we know that this is an end time prophecy. Israel and Judah being oppressed together and the Most High says he's going to um, destroy this place you know he's going to bring vengeance now let's read 34 again their Redeemer is strong the Lord of hosts is his name he shall thoroughly plead their cause that he may give rest to the land and disquiet the inhabitants of Babylon and you can go and read all these, all these scriptures if you want to alright we may even come back and read this right here now this, the last scripture we read, Jeremiah 49 and 16, it was talking about Edom, right? And then it went into, as in the overthrow of Sodom and Gomorrah, the neighbor, neighbor cities thereof, said the Lord, no man shall abide there, neither shall a son of man dwell in it. Now when you go here, and you look, it's talking about Babylon. It says here in verse 40, as the Most High overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah, and the neighbor cities thereof, said the Lord, so shall no man abide there, neither shall any son of man dwell therein you see it's given the same destruction and physical description Edom that's one let's get another one Isaiah 34 and verse 1 come near ye nations to hear and this is talking about the daughter of Edom and the daughter of Babylon which we read in the opening scriptures were linked together Isaiah 34 and 1 come near ye nations to hear and hearken ye people let the earth hear and all that is therein the world and all things that come forth of it for the indignation of the Lord is upon all nations and his fury is upon all their armies. Now here, the indignation of the Lord, the Most High is angry with all the nations. And he's going to send their armies into World War Three. He has utterly destroyed them. He has delivered them to the slaughter. That slaughter is World War Three. Their slain also shall be cast out and their stink shall come up out of their carcasses. And the mountains shall be meddled with their blood. And all the hosts of heaven shall be dissolved. And the heavens shall be rolled together as a scroll, and all their hosts shall fall down as the leaf falleth from off the vine, falleth off from the vine, and as a falling fig from the fig tree. For my sword shall be bathed in heaven, behold, it shall come down upon Idumia, and upon the people of my cursed judgment. Who are who is Idumia? That's Edom. And the people of the most high's cursed judgment, the same people, the Edomites. You see, as it goes on here, the name Basra. So you know it's Edom. Did Most High say Edom, uh, Basra shall be a desolation? If I didn't, yeah. Basra shall become a desolation, a reproach, and a waste. You see? Going over to Isaiah 34, it says, The soul of the Lord is filled with blood, it is made fat with fatness, and with the blood of lambs and goats, with the fat of the kidneys of rams. For the Lord hath a sacrifice in Basra, and a great slaughter in the land of Idumea. So the Most High is going to bring this... Uh, heavens being rolled being dissolved and, and the heavens being rolled together as a scroll you see now let's get this same description in the back revelation 6 and we'll just go right to it revelation 6 and verse 12 and i beheld when he had opened the sixth seal and lo there was a great earthquake and the sun became black as sackcloth of hair and the moon became as blood and the stars of heaven fell into the earth, even as a fig tree casteth her untimely figs, when she is shaken of a mighty wind. And the heaven departed as a scroll when it is rolled together, and every mountain and island were moved out of their places. See, this is the same description. 
same thing that's been happening that happened to um uh i do you or, or, or eat them over here you see I was at 34 and 4 and all the hosts of heaven shall be dissolved and the heavens shall be rolled together as a scroll over here and the stars of heaven fell into the earth even as a fig tree casts her untimely figs when she is shaken of a mighty wind and the heaven departed as a scroll when it is rolled together and every mountain and island were moved out of their places you see that so that's all going to the same place now after after Edom is destroyed let's see what the, how it's described in verse 7 it says for it is the day of the Lord's vengeance and the year of recompenses for the controversies of Zion or for the con controversy of Zion and the streams thereof shall be turned into pitch and the dust thereof into brimstone and the land thereof shall become burning pitch it shall not be quenched night nor day the smoke thereof shall go up forever from generation to generation it shall lie waste none shall pass through it forever and ever now let's read a little bit more here um, first let's go over here I think if I'm not mistaken it's lucky I lost my place where I wanted to get this scripture from yeah talking about Babylon another link with Babylon Jeremiah 50 39 says therefore the wild beasts of the desert with the wild beasts of the islands shall dwell there and the owls shall dwell therein and it shall be no more inhabited forever neither shall it be dwelt in from generation to generation it's talking about Babylon which we know is talking about Babylon the great the daughter of Babylon when you go to Isaiah 34 it shall not be quenched night nor day the smoke thereof shall go up forever from generation to generation it shall lie waste none shall pass through it forever and ever but the cormorant and the bittern shall possess it the owl also and the raven shall dwell in it and he shall stretch out upon it the line of confusion and the stones of emptiness you see so this place is going to be uh, a place for the wild animals of the desert you see verse 14 the wild beasts of the desert shall also meet with the wild beasts of the island and the satyr shall cry to his fellow the screech owl also shall rest there and find for herself a place of rest you see it's just gonna be a great big place of uh, destruction and confusion as the most High said he will stretch out the line of confusion upon it why because you're not gonna know where South Carolina is you're not gonna know what New York Delaware Los Angeles Chicago it's just gonna be one big giant desert proven perfectly and it, and it, it mentioned this is talking about Babylon. This one said Edom or I doom you. Here in Revelation 18 at the end. Revelation 18 and verse 1. And after these things I saw another angel come down from heaven having great power. And the earth was lightened with his glory. And he cried mightily with a strong voice saying Babylon the great is fallen. Is fallen has become the habitation of devils. And the hold of every foul spirit in a cage of every unclean and hateful bird. See. Babylon the Great is going to become a place for desert animals and creatures of the wilderness. As you go down, I'm just going to go real quick. Um, we'll just hit and miss certain certain scriptures here. This is the reason why the Most High is going to destroy it. For her sins, verse 5, for her sins have reached unto heaven, and the Most High has remembered her iniquities. Reward her even as she rewarded you, and double unto her double according to her works. In the cup which she hath filled, Filled to her double. So then we read in the opening scripture, Happy shall he be that rewarded thee as thou hast served us. You see? Reward her even as she rewarded you. Now as you go down, verse 7, How much she had glorified herself and lived deliciously. So much torment and sorrow give her. For she saith in her heart, I sit a queen and am no widow and shall see no sorrow. Therefore shall her plagues come in one day death and mourning and famine she shall be utterly burned with fire for strong is the Lord God who judges her you see and I mean basically when you look at it and you go through the scripture you can identify specifically America with Babylon the Great Babylon the Great is the daughter of Babylon which is identified with Edom but also the Israelites because the Israelites are in captivity in Babylon the Great and once you go through the curses you can easily see that those people that were brought over here in slavery are the children of Israel and then the Most High said that Judah and, and uh, Israel were um, oppressed together. 
So we know for a fact that the holy apostles and prophets came here in Babylon the Great. Now this is Revelation 18 and 20. Rejoice over her thou heaven and ye holy apostles and prophets for the Most High hath avenged you on her. The Most High is going to avenge the Israelites on Babylon the Great with great destruction. Reward her even as she rewarded you. Happy shall he be that taketh and dasheth thy little ones against the stones. That, and you know that's going to happen at some point. The Israelites are going to get into a great race war with the Edomites, as it's prophesied, and many people will perish. But in the end, the Lord is going to cause America, Babylon the Great, to be pelted with nuclear missiles, which he calls hailstones, okay? And this place is going to be destroyed forever, you see? But uh, before that, it's going to be revealed, as it's been revealed now, who the Edomites are. The so-called white man is Esau. The Bible proves it. You so-called white people can't get out of it, and now you're realizing you are the Edomites. So Edom and the daughter of Is the daughter of uh, the daughter of Babylon and the children of Edom are together, and they oppress the children of Israel in captivity in America, Babylon the Great. One last time, Revelation 18 and 20: Rejoice over her, thou heaven, and ye holy apostles and prophets, for the Most High hath avenged you on her. And a mighty angel took up a stone like a great millstone and cast it into the sea, saying, Thus with violence shall that great city Babylon be thrown down and shall be found no more at all. Just like it was described in Jeremiah 50 and 16 or uh, chapter 50, it shall be found no more at all. Right? Isaiah 34, it shall be found no more at all. Isaiah uh, Jeremiah 50 talked about Babylon. Right? Isaiah 34 talked about Edom and Revelation 18 talks about the daughter of Babylon Babylon the Great and as it said that the children of Edom were oppressed together in the daughter of Babylon we read in the opening scripture that the children of Israel dwelleth with the daughter of Babylon you so called white people cannot get out of it you are the Edomites and you will be destroyed all praise to the most high Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai double honor to the apostles and elders of the great millstone enough respect to the brothers teaching the truth all over the earth that'll do it for the lesson the so-called white man is realizing they are the Edomites.